Still struggling with Fungi ID? Here are five mistakes you're probably making and how to fix them. First, you're skipping the basics. Every ID should start with fruit body type or shape, habitat, season, size and colouring, from cap and stem tones to bruising to spore prints. Miss one of these and you might find yourself miles off. Second, expecting textbook perfection. In real life, fungi don't always look pristine. They're older, wetter, drier, decaying, slug eaten, and that's normal. Don't mess up an ID because you've not allowed for the condition of a specimen on any given day. Third, your photos and notes aren't complete. Take pictures and make notes on every part of the fruit body. Cap, spore surface, stem, base, cross section, any latex, bruising, and the habitat. Future you will thank you long after that fruit body has rotted away. Fourth, you aren't paying attention to habitat, smell and taste, of course, where it's safe to do so. Record what it's growing on, soil, wood, leaf litter, near or on specific tree species. That detail can make or break an ID. Does it have a particular aroma or a specific taste? Of course, don't perform a nibble and spit test unless you're sure of safe and correct procedure. Finally, ignoring your field guide's key pages. Don't skip the glossary or the keys in field guides. Learn to understand keys. They're your hack for narrowing down an ID much faster. Don't forget to follow us for more fungi and plant ID tips, facts and folklore.